Hey guys, hey guys, happy Thursday Night Live. It's been a while. It's been a long while. <laughs> we have a whole new setup here. New too. setup, new energy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. So I see that we have quite a few people here in the chat. Yes. Welcome in. We've got Blingy, Miss Jelly, Shy Guy, Brockstar, Taku are both here. We haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, Dee's here. We've got a whole bunch. Nancy, welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> Oh, there seems to be a delay. I don't know why. Oh, but I'm thinking there's a hi, boy. Hey, it's a little <laughs> bit of delay. I don't know why. That's okay. That's okay. No um, worries. Hey, Brockstar and Taku, it's been a while. Yes. How are you guys doing? Yes. How are you guys doing? Yes. And I, I saw someone say that we have some conflicting lives. That's okay. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been live in a minute. Well, we do it hey, once Dean. Month. Hey, welcome hey, in. Dee Dee. <laughs> hey, Kaylee Carol, Miss Jelly. So tonight we have a very exciting announcement, a couple announcements. Yeah. But for those who know the specifics for one of them, wait and talk about it in the Discord. Yes. But we're going to make some announcements later tonight. But I wanted to pop on and just like say hi to everyone. I'm going to see if I can work on this delay. Yeah, fix the delay. You guys liking the new mic? We got a new mic, new camera, new everything. New everything. We're working on the lighting. Stream. Now we can watch it up on the TV behind the camera rather than like squinting at yeah. the laptop, which is so nice. Taku says, We're great. Missed you guys. Life has been happening in a big way lately, but so glad to be back. Yay. Hey. Well, I'm happy to see you guys. Hey, yes. Vivian, welcome in. Me, 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 says Dee Dee. I love it. Yes. Did Zane get cuter? Miss Jelly. Always. Get off my man. <laughs> Hi, Kaylee. Welcome in. I'm glad you guys made it. Are we podcasting? Not yet. Not yet, but I that might be in the future. I don't know how to fix the delay. That's okay. So we're, we're going to have a delay with the comments, which is actually probably good for you because it gives you time to respond. Yes, because I like to talk. Yes. So but Yeah, we have a new mic. Can we do ASMR? ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Looks and sounds great for me. 100. Hundred, yeah. And we got a new cam. We're not using my phone no, anymore. We're not on a phone. We're on a legitimate live yeah. stream so camera. This is, this is all connected, all corded. There's yep. no Bluetooth involved. <sighs> we got a new light. New light. New, new light. mic. New mic. New camera. And we're gearing up for some. Oh, oh me? Twitch me Twitch? Yes, we're gonna have Twitch channels. Been working on that too. Um working on emotes and all that crap. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. I've been wanting to get back into Uncharted. Yes. And so I think like having it and like hanging out with folks while I do it will help me like replay the game. Replay the game. I have so many games I need to be. So this would be a good excuse to get it done too. Yeah. Yeah. I love buying you video games that you never finish. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Let's see. Welcome, Vivian. It looks and sounds great. I was trying to juggle three lives. I just couldn't, says D. That's a lot, D. Good for you for trying. I couldn't do it, that's for sure. Sounds nice and clear, says Vivian. Well, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, podcast I love. Wow, high tech. Yes. Chico. Wait, I heard podcasts. I have mixed opinions on podcasts because of Same. all reasons. I hope if you do one, it'll be done well. Yeah. It, it would happen eventually, maybe. Um, I think when he's able to become a full-time content creator, maybe. Because right now, I don't know where that would fit in the schedule. No, no. Doing five videos this month, a week, was already crazy enough it's for us. It's been crazy, guys. So I don't know if I want to add a, a podcast to the, the Trish, mix. I didn't know if Trish was going to show up or not. Trish made it okay. over to the new program. Okay. Oh, that's right, guys. We're doing a whole new software with the yes. streaming. This is called OBS, which yep. is actually the, actually the original, the OG, the best software yeah. for streaming. Um, hands what down, way better than Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Streamlabs, Streamlabs sucks. Awful. Streamlabs sucks. And Zane can actually control the different screens from his telephone. Which is super cool. I made a little... Uh, a remote control? <laughs> Widgets? Hot deck or... Hot deck. deck. Hot deck. Something deck. That's Something nice. deck. I don't have a physical one yet because it's like 160 bucks. But... So just use the one on the phone. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, use the one on the phone. Fine. It's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, welcome, welcome in. Hey, welcome in. Jesse J. Jesse J. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's fun to be with everybody. Oh, it's like the OGs are here. I love it. I'm only with the best since so DDB and I yes, love it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I would love if you did podcasts, maybe in the future, 100%. Yeah, don't you, tiles. Doesn't it feel like everyone's tiles? That's, 
the what they look like as tiles, but that's not what it's called. It's called a deck. Stream deck. Stream, stream deck. deck. Stream deck. We got there. Called. We, we got landed there. the plane. We landed. <laughs> um, speaking of podcasts, I was thinking about this earlier today. I feel yeah. like there's too many. It seems like everyone and oh. their mother has one in California right now. So maybe you just like let the fad die down a little let bit. Let it die down. Let and let. Yeah. True podcasts happen. Trish is taking anger management classes. Right, Miss Shelley? She's trying to improve herself. Yes. That's all we can ask for. Missed you, Brian. Yes, Brian. I hope you're doing well. So, I guess since we were announcing Twitch and yeah. stuff, that will be one way you guys can... I keep See us at, more. Looking at the mic. I know. The I, mic's not our camera. The mic's not my camera no. thing. <laughs> it's over there. It's over there. <laughs> But yeah, that'd be one way you guys can see us. Um, once the Twitch is officially launched, we'll let you know. But yes, again, I understand a whole bunch of you don't want to watch it's video game content. So. Exploring with Chris says good morning from Malaysia. Welcome, oh, good morning. Chris. Thanks for joining Happy us. Happy Friday. Friday. Oh, it's Thursday for us. I'm assuming it's Friday stuff. So. Mm, she said good morning. It might be Saturday. Saturday. Um, good morning, Chris. Why don't Chris, you hi. skip a whole day? Don't you? Like, they're like a lot ahead of us. Maybe. Time. Who time. knew? Who, Who knew? knew? Not good with time. Who knew? Who's ready for the bag of the day? I can't tell how many thumbs ups we have or anything, but oh. I hope it's pretty good. Let's see. Right now. DD Twitch is a streaming service. That's all they do is live streams. And it's primarily for people that play video games. Yes. But there is people that do art on there. Chat. Or just chat. Digital girl, hey, hey welcome, welcome in. in. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> yeah, so Twitch on mine, I'm going to just be playing a lot of like adventure games, first person shooters. I want to yes. redo um, Days Gone. Days Gone was the good. The zombie motorcycle game. That was a lot that of fun. Really good. Anything Naughty Dog. So I'd be doing like Uncharted, Last of Us, Last of Us, um, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I, could, I could try. I'm not very good, but I could try. <laughs> Yes, it is Good Friday. Okay. It Yay! Is. Oh, it's oh, it is Good, good Friday. Friday. That's, That's right. right. Good Friday, everyone. Yes, good Friday, everyone. Happy Easter, guys. Does anyone have big fun Easter plans this weekend? Yes. Other than lunches? Getting and eggs. Eggs? Ooh! <laughs> Devil eggs are my favorite. You do. I don't. I, I can't love... get... I can't get into... He eats eggs. I like... Oh, you boiled it and cut it in half? Oh. oh. And then you add the mustard and... Oh! No. I don't even like boiled eggs. Why? Let's unpack that. See, this is what our podcast could be right here. This. <laughs> just, just like, just like Trixie and Katya. It yeah. should just be like this. Well, I don't like first of all the smell, and then it's a texture thing, and then smooth texture, and then the inside of the egg, the the outside of the nucleus, or the what is it? The, the eye egg. of the egg. The, the egg. egg. No, the yellow part. The yolk. The yolk turns gray. <laughs> The outside of it, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Who's gonna scrape that? Well, that's because me? of the membrane and all that. I don't crap. care. Okay, you don't care. I don't like it. And everyone's like, "Oh, why don't you like? Why don't you like deviled eggs?" I don't. That's right, guys. He doesn't like it. I'm, I'm 35. I cannot like deviled eggs if I choose to. I'm totally gonna carry my shearling bunny low the purse for Easter. Yes. I think it's what Caleb. Oh my gosh. Yes. Perfect. So, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Digital yes. shared it in our um, little live chat a couple weeks ago, and it is so freaking cute. Do I need a game to connect with you on Twitch? No, you just have to sign into Twitch. It's just like a, it's like YouTube, but for gamers. Primarily gamers, yes. Gamers and streamers. Yes. So it's a ton of fun. Once once I'm up and running, like I'm working on my channel over there, but once I'm up and running, I'll drop links and yes. we'll just like hang out and yes. shoot zombies and stuff. It'll be fun. It's not a launch yet. It's going to probably launch, I would think, like in the next week or so. I'm ready to play. And yeah, I've got I'm, a... I'm ready to play too. Like this is all set up. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. And believe it or not, the back shelf does change colors. It does. It can it's be pink, be fun. blue, anything you want. Tonight I have out my Kelly, my Kelly which might be my Is that Easter showing bag. up? Oh, it's, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Well, what if we turn the little side lights off? Okay, well, we can try, but it'll be an hour and a half before we find out. No, you can see there that's live. Oh, no. Yeah, no. No. Come no. back, lights. Come back, light. Come back. Carol Ann, Carol Ann, come back to the lab. <laughs> but we've got my Kelly. What just happened? Did something happen? That's us turning the lights off in the past. No, the blue box on there. That was an alert. What happened? I don't know. That's an oh. alert box. That's all I know. Hmm. I didn't hear a sound, though. And the alert box sound... Let me double check. Let's see. I'm going to see if it Oh, there's no the sound phone. for it. No. Oh, no. What happened? Why doesn't it have a sound? 
Oh, no, it should, though, because it's a web browser. I don't think anything happened. Okay. Maybe it's nothing. Something the mods can let us know if yeah, we miss something. Yeah, let us know if we miss something. Okay. Anyway, Kelly. Birkin. Blue Jean Kelly. Blue Jean Kelly. They're all say, say Birkin. And then our cute little Heartstopper guy. He got that for Valentine's Day. Do you want to tell the story behind that? So I ordered that two days before Valentine's Day. We love a last minute queen. And I was like, oh, this will get here quick. No. It arrived yesterday, finally. Yes, yesterday. Yesterday. So mm. happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yay. Uh, let's see here. So, oh, no. Gotcha. I don't think it's behind. Um, okay, do I need a game to connect? No, double bags. Oh, Blingy has a picnic. Ooh. Anyone that has ever lived here is invited. I'll be baking soon. Yum. I love deviled eggs, says Dee Dee Bean. Brockstar just can't do eggs at all, but Taku loves them. <laughs> no Easter fun for D. Yolk, not nucleus, or the eye of the egg. <laughs> Ms. Jelly loves a runny yolk. Gross. Gross. <laughs> um... Let's see. Tai Tai says, good thing you're not from the South. We love our deviled eggs. I cannot get on board. I'm going to get a better close-up of the... You move your bag. Of the guys? Yeah, so we can see. Oh, okay. So for those of you that watched Heartstopper, if you're okay with waiting a month and a half, this is... Awesome. Why did Chris come to my head? Is that wrong? Yeah. Char... <laughs> Charlie and oh my god, we're bad Nick? days. Yes, Nick, Nick Nelson, Nick and Charlie, and they've got like a cute little desk they can sit at. Well, it's the desk that they met in like home room or whatever. Yeah, it's That's got the, the leaves. leaves. It's yeah. super cute. It just super takes cute. forever to get to your home, which is fine. It's fine. Um, this talk of eggs has me hungry, not me. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Huevos rancheros. Your mom likes those. Yes. I love huevos rancheros, chimes in D. Didi says exactly, Tai Tai. I run the opposite direction from deviled eggs. Oh my gosh. And then, ooh, when you're at the when you're at the carry-in, and then they peel back the saran wrap and it's got all the, the nucleus on it. The eye of the egg. No. The eye of the egg. <laughs> Melissa, welcome in. Happy, hey, Friday. happy Friday. Yes, Shy Guy and Ms. Jelly love the Heartstopper guys. Mm -hmm. It is super cute. Mm -hmm. I'm just sorry it took so long. Are we showing the bag of the day? Why not? Okay. I don't know. It's fine. Oh, do you want me to hold it up? It's heavy. I'm not holding it, it up. You have all your stuff in it. The crown is heavy, darling. Just leave it where it's safe. Leave it where it lies. I'm in my new to me vintage Dooney and Burke all weather leather large bucket from the vintage collection. And it's here. Okay. I like it. The Eye of Mordor. I don't get, know. Get, get up close in there, oh. honey. Get up there. Get up there. Let them see. Get all up in it. <laughs> Don't look at me, camera. Don't see us. Anyway, it's not. It's a nice bag. It finally took me an entire week to figure out how to have it on my shoulder oh my God. and not it's fall weak off. Shoulders, guys. My sloping shoulders. What's your take on the Hermes lawsuit? Many experience and pre-purchase journey in order to get the Birkin or Kelly. Yeah. What will it mean for the rest of the world purchasers? What's your take on this? Ooh, Chris, that's a good one. Um, let's see here. Good omelet life, Taku likes. Okay. I do like a good omelet. Ooh, should I share the omelet story? Yeah. No. Okay. So, I don't know. I got so many comments, you guys, on that video. Like, I couldn't respond to everybody, so I, I, was, I hearted them. It was a lot. There was a lot, and there was, like, a lot of discourse going back and forth between people. And but it wasn't the, me. No, for the most part, there were a couple comments that were kind of out of line, um, between folks, but... Um, for the most part, it was really interesting to read everyone's comments. And I like what Jesse Style did with, like, just devoting a video to the comments part. Yeah. Because, like, I could not physically have responded to all those comments. And they were, like, long, thoughtful comments with, like, replies and conversations underneath. Like, it was a lot of fun to see what everyone else thought. Um, shoulder pads, darling. I should. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Like, I think, I think that the lawsuit, is it stretching a little, maybe? You tell me. Or are they... Like, I would feel some type of way if I had spent the 10, 20K to get the offer, not even the Birkin or the Kelly, but just to get offered a Birkin or Kelly. That you may or may not want. That you may or may not want. That's the thing for me. Like, if I were to do the whole pre-spin thing here, I know my luck. They're going to come out with, like, some... Well, 
my take on it, it's always been, it's genius of Hermes. Oh, 100%. Because they understood what their bread and butter was. Like, what's it called? It's called your, like, warrior product or something like that. Hmm. I forget what those are called. Me, me, uh, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like, they're one thing. They're that... a big thing. So they're fortunate that they have a couple bags that everyone covets. Mm-hmm. The Kelly and the Birkin. <laughs> not doing the pre-spin game. <laughs> no, not doing that pre-spin no. game at all. But, so it's genius on their part for doing that. But it's unfortunate for people involved. Yes. I just think they need to make it plain, black and white language. You spend X amount. You will be offered within 365 days of said amount spent. A bag on your criteria. Like, it shouldn't be like, well, this is what we have. Did this you want this puke color? Too bad. Is this a... Um, let's see here. DD Bean says, woohoo! Duty bucket bag, shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. Taku says, ready to be whipped with those tassels, said Ooh. Rockstar. Oh my gosh, you guys. Not. Get me demonetized in Russia again. Okay. I did not, says Brock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Likely story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, the lawsuit is a royal case of Karenism. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little... little. Well, what's your take on it? I don't know. Like, I, I don't think it's going to change anything. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think that, if anything, your mess will just settle quickly because they don't want the... the What is it called? The seasons of discovery? Or just the cost of it. They're yeah, like, like whatever. Expensive. But they misspelled Birkin. I would be so mad if I was the client and paying that lawyer to draft up that lawsuit and you misspelled Birkin how many times? Twice. That's crazy. Yeah. And then they also use the term Birkin loosely to describe any quota bag, not just the Birkin. Well, that's not right. No. it's They'll, they'll redraft it, but that is a legal zane. That's fine. That's fine. It's it capitalism. Is. It's That's nice. I don't know. Like, at the, grand, at the end of the day, like, I'm never pro company or corporation really when it comes to like capitalist goods so i mean I'm... yeah oh, i saw this new trend on tiktok it's like you wake up in the morning you're like oh my god another day i'm so blessed to fulfill the wishes and the needs of the shareholder <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know i don't know it's 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 going to be interesting will it change anything i'm not sure but i mean the, the Birkin has been hard to get for 20, 30 years. I, I don't think this is going to change it. They'll just find another way to do it. Exactly. Yeah. If they need to. It's the unknown. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did anyone else see the... The Willy, Willy Wonka, Wonka fail? <laughs> yes. In England? Oh, my God. I always thought that the pre-spin game is for people who have that type of money as disposable income. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't... I, I well, don't know. We've known for people that have spent over the required amount and still haven't been offered so that goes to tell you too it's up to the essay it's up to the essay and then the fact that they're not getting they're, they're not going to get a commission on selling you a Birkin or a kelly but they're going to get a commission selling you 12 pairs of orons of three ulysses notebooks 16 and then what about scarves. these um influencers who go switch go to a new Hermes store this is in the states or get a new essay and they're like bam Getting offered rare bags and combos. I just can't believe it. It's crazy. Uh, I guess that's what he thinks. You gotta be quiet. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Mwingi says, I don't think Hermes will suffer. That is illegal, Zane. Well, well yeah. is it illegal or is it's it just illegal. fudging it? It's just fudging it. It's just, it's just you know, pushing boundaries. 2026, 2016 changed everything, guys. I'm all I'm saying. Oh, sure. no. Rockstar says, now we know what he's thinking, though. Never knew bucket bags took him there. Oh. Oh. And then the $37 on Shop Goodwill. That's all I'm saying, guys. <laughs> Hermes will continue to be Hermes, yeah. 100. Uh, Jacking Hubby's phone for this. I've seen my fair share of lawsuits, and let me tell you that misspellings are rampant. I love oh. it. Oh, I would expect a lawyer to know how to spell. <laughs> You would think, especially when they don't misspell it until the end of the document. And then here's the thing, like, if you figure it out, like, oh, shoot, I misspelled it. All you have to do is find on the Word document and, like, change, change it. the misspelling to the correct spelling. And why didn't the computer catch it? It knows how to spell Birkin. Mine does. 
In Asia, pre-spend is common. I've been there and done that. And the second time I step onto the boutique, I'm done. Look up to secondhand shop for the better deal in Japan and Hong Kong. That is one of my life goals is to do the pre-owned shops in Japan and Hong Kong. I didn't know about I, Hong Kong's pre-owned shops, but I knew about Japan's. I think Winnie Y takes us to the Hong Kong yes, you pre-owned her shops. Her yeah. Um, that would just be like my nirvana, just all the, the piles of discontinued. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Hey, Ed, welcome in. Welcome in, Ed. I hope it's going well. Um, buy it pre-loved and save yourself the aggravation. 100%. Like, these were, all I had to do was save up, find the right one, and, and then done. drop the cash. Drop the cash. I'm a I'm a I'm an enigma wrapped in a riddle mm. and cash. <laughs> um, limb brush emoji, please. Oh, oh that's not a bad idea, Miss okay. Jelly. I love it. Um, food, sleep, dogs, and boxing. Nice. Hey okay. Ed. Hi Ed. Hi Melissa. Jesse J. I was offered an exotic Constance in another country with no free spend. Well, that, deceased. That I understand. An exotic though. That's crazy. That's amazing. And obviously, can they pull up your account? Because I thought Europe was separated from America. I, from my understanding, the from country to country, it doesn't speak. But I think in other countries, especially Europe, it's easier. They pulled to up Jeffy J, and they're like, "Give her the exotic. give her give her the exotic. Pull out the good stuff. Come on." <laughs> uh, let's see. I had. Hmm. I just realized that the precinct game ties into capitalism and overconsumption, which ironically distracts them away from the practice of supposed sustainability with one back for life. Nailed it. That's the final conversation. I yep. think that's okay. Because it is not a luxury. It is... It is a luxury say, in that it, it's not luxury. It is a luxury it's that quality. it can be repaired, but it is not luxury. It is quality. It is quality. What is it, Hermes? We've heard it both ways. <laughs> what is? Oh, thank you, Chris. Oh, Super chat. Well, thank you. Yes. Hold on. Sneeze. I'm so sorry. Oh. A sneeze is coming. And then there's a let's celebrate their fifth super. Oh, thank you, Chris. Aw. And soon I'll have like little confetti. Or yeah, something. we need something to we like pop up and celebrate. Something. Bottles of champagne. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. I didn't see the alert, so I don't know no. if just. <sighs> okay. I'll have to work on that. That's good to know. Oh, there it is. Oh. 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 I want a better one. I was just messing with things, yeah. Oh. I, I was learning how to mess with things. So that just happened today. But thank you, Shy Guy. Thank you. Bless you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love Jesse's videos of the Japanese luxury stores. Oh my gosh, same. I could watch those a thousand times over. Pre-loved is pretty much the only option. Yeah, quite honestly, I I feel very priced out of new luxury to the point where I don't even like looking. Oh. I think it's always good to look. Um, I can understand being priced out because the same thing's happening in the used video game market. Things are just crazy. Well, I mean, a two hundred dollar game is much better than a six thousand dollar. It's a lot <laughs> just to put into one game. It is that it may is. or may not hold its value too. That's true, and I feel like with video games, it might be a little bit more rambunctious. Not, yeah, or, just, there's like a chart. Yeah, you can see the there's yeah, this website smooth. called Price Charting that tracks yes. it. And you can see that, like, how I, someone needs to do that with the bag market, actually. I don't know why that hasn't happened. Dropping for 2025. I don't know how to code, but... <laughs> Check out a new app. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to go, but there needs no. to be, like, a price charting for bags. Yes, yeah. But I don't know. I, I just, there, there, there's kind of a point where I didn't buy it. Constance is not my favorite, even though it was Proc, and I wanted a Burke, and yes, I did check, and I could see there wasn't a Burke in stock for me to see. Jesse, wow, that is checked. heartbreaking. Wow. But good for you, though, not just accepting it, because you... Kind of you... brought it home and sold it. It's, like, mm. brand new. Had all the papers and everything. We don't do that in this house. Okay. Hermes, Love it. Hermes is watching. I don't want to get blacklisted. Oh, they do? Well, that's how someone else got in trouble. They... They were getting new stuff at the store and then flipping it. And... She would do it like once. I don't know. It's 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 like um, it's a problem. It's just a, it's just gonna a a snowball. Oh. Um. But no, like I think that you know when you're looking at prices of new handbags and, and luxury goods, like it's just it's just like thirteen thousand for a Chanel jumbo. Okay, that's, that's crazy. That's a down payment on a small lake house. I don't know if it's that anymore. Maybe in Indiana it is. No, well, yeah, I'm not going off. <laughs> Let's of... go off the references. Which state are we talking about? If we buy in a very small town in Indiana, yes, that would be a down payment on a decent little house. Yeah. So that just kind of turns me off. They're always, always watching. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, Dijiko says, oh, what are your thoughts on the Damulicious collection by LV? I forgot to ask this in the Discord to everyone else. I haven't seen it yet. I know that I don't love the new um, monogram that at first glance looks kind of like multicolor, but... Copy, copy. I don't know. Like, LV's just not, not doing it. Yeah, I have to agree. Yeah. I even saw that. I was like, oh, I don't like this new monogram multicolor wannabe. No. Uh, it just wasn't... We're just very old people now. We just don't like it. Yeah, no. They're always watching. Where is that a down payment? Okay, maybe it's not a down payment, but it is a good chunk of one <laughs> these days, sadly. <laughs> hey, D, me too. I'm a used car bag house kind of gal. Yeah, same. Like, I don't... I, who am I going to impress? Me. I mean, I do set those standards. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be authentic. I like what I like, and I wouldn't ever act desperate even from as 100% or pre-loved LV, right? Yeah, I don't know. Pricing is just a little, little, little crazy these days. Oh, it's kind of turn off. Mm -hmm. But I am excited. We received news this morning that Alessandra McKaylee is going to be taking over at Valentino. That is exciting. I am super just, which surprises me. I thought Valentino was doing fine, but apparently they're going to jazz it up again. Uh, yeah. And the guy like retired yesterday. Oh, he's done. He retired, it said, from Valentino. I don't know if that what that means. You don't just retire when I know. I was day. like, he was forced out. I'm like, what happened? Something happened. And how long has that guy been in Valentino? I don't like a minute. I don't know. Hmm. I, I just remember like the last few collections have been really good. The Roman studs. Hmm. I like the bigger one, though, than the... the That's small. the Roman. Okay. Those are the rock studs, the okay. little... Those. I have a friend who... I have a friend whose friend who wanted a Chanel bag for so long that she got priced out. She told me that her friend is going to try to find vintage 24 karat Chanel in Japan during her trip instead. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It's, it's, it's weird how the whole ladder of luxuries changed. Yeah. Hermes used to be at the top, and now it's... Hermes and Chanel battling it back and forth. Like. And literally tell me, how is Dooney and Burke able to do gold-plated hardware still on $100 bags, but God forbid Chanel yeah. their price points yep. do it anymore. Like, it's not that expensive. Or Hermes. Or Hermes. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Uh, I'm just saying, I just spent $17 on my first Dooney. I can't even get a bag that cheap at Target. Thank you all for telling me about Shop Goodwill. Speaking of Shop Goodwill... You have another thing coming. I have another bag coming, and it's kind of a big deal, not going to lie. It is a very collectible coach bag from one of my favorite collections almost, oh God, 15 years ago at this point. Yeah. So that comes hopefully next week. I'm going to give it its own video. Oh, I figured. Okay, just so you, you know. have more to unbox with it? No, I think I'm done. I'm caught up on all my unboxings. I've been busy this <laughs> month. <laughs> done a Jeez. lot of shopping. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's see here. Let Caleb have his lake house. That needs to be a t-shirt. <laughs> it should. Um, hey, Fuchsia Floyd. Welcome Fuchsia in. Floyd, welcome Eva, in. welcome in. You're welcome, Ty Ty. You finally scored 100%. There ha there are deals to be had at Goodwill. 100. Like, Shop Goodwill is... That's dangerous for me. But you have to know what the value of your item is yes. so you don't overspend. Because you can get swept up because a lot of those go for way too much. Don't go way too much, yep. yeah. Yeah. So you need to like look at the market. Like, can I get something like this at eBay, Poshmark? Yeah. Likely things like that. Yes. And do I need to buy it? Because let's be honest, the the Shop Goodwill photos aren't the best, and that's how I got kind of duped. With that one dude. With my Essex Arrowhead and the cut strap. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. It's not super vintage. It's like 2007, but eh, it's getting there. <laughs> um. Let's see. Do we want to make an announcement for the members? I mean, yeah, we got like 25 minutes, right? Yeah. We're only going to go live until 8. We're going to try it and do it like a quick, manageable live. I have to get back to editing. Yes. Zane's got a lot of work to get done. Mm -hmm. um, so members, and some of you in here know the specifics. Don't announce it, though. But don't announce the specifics. I'm going to make the big announcement, and then we'll drop the details over in the Discord for members. But... We have a members meetup plan. Yeah. Yes! This is a... I didn't want people to think it was a bait. It's a level. It's a leveler. I was making sure the camera was level. <laughs> but yes, we're going to we're gonna announce it. We're going to announce the specifics in the Discord. And um, it'll all be on there. But I just want to let everyone know to keep their eye out at 8 p.m. Central Time tonight. I'll go over to Discord, 
drop the deets in the uh, announcements, or maybe we'll create like oh, a new meetup tab. Time and Trish just dropped a link if you want to become a oh. member. <laughs> that was not planned, but yes. That was not planned. That's if you'd random. like to be a member and join in, please feel free. Yeah. Um, yay! Yes, Digital, Digico. Woo! Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. We literally had so much fun last time. That was a shop to you drop oh, type of day. Quite literally, I dropped. <laughs> it was so much. So much fun. It was like a two, three day um two three day event well two day event i'm thinking of doing it three days this year oh where we'll have like a friday meetup luncheon or dinner saturday shopping in the city sunday shopping at, at the rosemont. outlet and... but Ro rosemont lost prada oh. long shop ermagilda zinya ermagilda zinya i still need to stretch out those espadrilles i bought in japan no not in japan i wish oh <laughs> if we i mean do we want to do like a one day we could do real housewives travel one day. yeah maybe for the fifth year anniversary of the membership yeah oh members meet up in paris Ooh, that'd be a lot of fun oh my gosh japan, japan. <laughs> That's oh i want to do japan so bad that would literally oh my gosh i would just like not shop until we went a week's first or Spain. Or Spain, LOL. Mm -hmm. That would be fun, too. Mm -hmm. But yes, I'm super excited. So hopefully we have another good turnout. Tons of fun. Tons of good food. And, like, the vibe last year was so chill. Like, everybody... Hey, Jen Cat, welcome in. Hey, welcome um, in. Everybody just got along so well. There was no drama. There was just... It was just a lot of people passionate about shopping. And, about bags. Too. And about bags. So oh we had gosh. so much fun. At least I did. I had, I had a blast. I'm sure everyone did. It's well, I would hope. You don't want to... No. But I, I think it was a ton of fun. So I'm super excited. Don't worry. Dates and everything will be dropped over into Discord here in a little bit. I just wanted to announce it. Announce it. I'm super excited. A little tease announce. A little, little, little teaser. Razzle dazzle. A little razzle dazzle. <laughs> Woohoo. Woo but no, I think the back to the Hermes lawsuit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's good. To, he doesn't know, guys. I don't know. know. He don't know. I don't know. You know. I am not a legal leader. What are they called? Lawyer. I am not someone who knows the law. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here like saying, no, time purchases. That's fine. That's that's a good plan. Obviously, don't come here for legal advice. <laughs> mm, yeah, don't do it. I'm saving my pennies. Yes. Everyone was super easy. Yes. <laughs> Everyone was super easy. I'm saving my pennies. Super easy. It's like old friends. Yes, it was like old friends. Like we all just mm -hmm. like knew each other, clicked, had fun. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Um, legal leader English. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Can I crash the party? Well, I keep it members only, just so that way it doesn't get too out of control. Because I think we we do have a lot of viewers here in Chicago land, mm -hmm. um, and I just I just want to make it like intimate, intimate, like like you know. Yeah. 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 yeah, vetted, vetted. No, well, just like intimate and just like you know, it's it's a perk for the members. It is a perk, an extra perk to like I don't, but it's like and hang out. Level of membership, yeah, from gold to platinum doesn't matter. Yeah. Super easy, um, but yeah, never come to me for legal advice. I'm not a legal leader. No, you're not. No, mm. and I don't like the eye of the egg. We've learned a lot about me tonight. Oh wow, just so much. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I'm excited to see what Alessandra McKaylee does with Valentino. I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like we might see a lot of the same over-the-top flamboyance. That'd be like a hard shift at Valentino. That'd um, be like crazy. That would be like a total pivot. Even like the ori even original Valentino didn't go like that. So no. I think they'll somehow hopefully still honor Valentino. Because that's, you have, to, you have to honor the original designer. Yeah. Yeah, which I wish Balenciaga would do yeah. better. But um, Jinka says, I just got home from Oak Brook and I told Chanel I'm breaking up with them. Oh. Then it's I, like breaking up with the Chanel beauty. beauty. Well, their prices just jumped and they're insane. How are they? Insane, yeah. I think they got rid of a lot of the exclusives and like they're only doing like certain size bottles. I don't know. It's hard for me to keep up. Hey, Beverly. You ready for the Texas boys and Texas girls? We're bringing boots and cowboy hats. I hope you do. Oh. That would be fun, guys. I hope you do. Same says Shy Guy. Hello, Caleb Zane and everyone. I finally made a live. Welcome in, Beverly. We're glad you're here. 
something not Rockstead. I mean, could you imagine? I don't know. I'm not the biggest Rockstead. I wasn't then and I'm not now. I like the Roman stuff. The Roman, but they even phased that out. But I really like the leather, that Napa leather. Yes, for Napa. Incredible. 100 $500 for a bottle of less exclusives. No. Ouch. No. And I was thinking, I don't know if I want to refill my Coabaton. 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 Is that bad of me? Well, one was still getting refilled. I know. And I feel like I need to, but that's like 200 bucks. Put <laughs> that elsewhere. Ooh, Tai Tai, I can bring my black boots. Yes. It's probably safer you don't have an opinion, Caleb. Or you can be like, I like your mez, but it's unfortunate that we live in capitalism. At the end of the day, our mez needs to make a profit. 100. Yeah, I really Safe just, space. Safe space. Yeah, no opinion. I don't. Like, I can't even get an essay to text me back, so good for them for you suing. Have a smooth uh, brain. No valley or bumps. Stop All it. All thoughts just slide right off. That's so rude to me. <laughs> have you planned another meetup? Yes, Brian. We're going to announce the dates on the Discord and all yep. the deets. But yes, it's coming very soon. Yes, another member meetup is happening this year. Yes. You're just joining us. But um, at 8 o'clock after this live, we'll put the details on the Discord. Yep. So yes, members, keep your eye out. Yes. Didi, Cody's going to bring his. Ah, I mean, I have my opinion, of course, but eh, do I agree with others that I doubt that much will change from the lawsuit? It, right. You know, it's mm -hmm. whatever. If you look up the tying definition by the FTC where the lawsuit fails is that Hermes is not a monopoly. You can buy pre-loved and there are tons of other companies selling leatherbacks. Yes. Ooh, your your S, your Hermes essay ignores you. Shame on them. It's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> I don't. The Chicago ones are tough. But I'm keeping my. I gotta be quiet because they're listening. We got called out at Coach Outlet. We did. Yikes. I was like, oh no. Oh my god, we did. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I was cringe. I was so scared. I wanted to die. <laughs> okay, it's like, yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi, yeah, we did talk about your outlet and how oh, it was weird no. that you guys were just cussing <laughs> on the sales floor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, we got 17 minutes. 17 minutes. I see. I told you we should have hooked up the game and stuff. Too late now. Do you want to watch us match fruits? <laughs> match fruits? You going to match some fruits? Match some fruits. No. Well, I have been on a bit of a buying spree lately. Just a little. You made it too cold. So cold. Don, welcome in. Hey, Don Donuts. Welcome in. Story time. <laughs> you rascals have fun at the meetup. Let me know if you need supervision or security. Yes. Well, welcome in, Don. So we just announced there's another meetup coming. I'm going to drop the dates over in the Discord here in a little bit. But um, I think I bought like six or seven new bags and I've only used one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. So we have the two Doonies, the Bleaker, the Rogue. The Mark Jacobs. The one on its way. The one on its way. Is that all I bought? I'm not that bad. Oh, the Arrowhead Essex. That's seven new bags that I haven't carried. I uh, can't stop with this guy. Is there a video explaining that one story? No, no. No, no, no. LV Devotee, but I'm not keen on the craggy mono. My daughters all love it. Is that the new one that just came out? Yeah, we're not feeling that. I'm either. not feeling it. And I need to check out this D damn delicious. What did she, what did they say? Damn yay something. Damn yay thing too. I I'm, I'm behind on LV. It, it's, it hasn't really been my 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 my, my jam mm. in like the last ten years. Oh, Ooh, I have buy and buying so much things lately too, Caleb. So much for low buy. Yeah, low buy is done. Well, out the never, window. You don't ever de you don't ever declare low buy. No, you, you I don't because I know me, and I do this thing where at the start of the year I go crazy on shop goodwill, buy a whole bunch of stuff, and then I don't buy anything until close to my birthday, and then I get an Hermes. I did this last year. I'm going to do it again this year. We're getting an Hermes. I'm people. getting another Hermes. <laughs> We're getting an Hermes. <laughs> Whether that's a Lindy, a toolbox, a Bolide, another one of these two, who knows. But there will be another MS later this year. Damn you're delicious or something like that. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't know that. What's the outlet story? So basically the outlet story, it was, I think, Black Friday. Yeah, I think it was Black Friday weekend. Yeah. Black Friday weekend. And I mentioned in the video, like we went in, the essays were just kind of all huddled around, which I get it. It's Black Friday. I worked Black Friday and it before. It was chaotic. And it, it was, was chaotic. Well, it was like Sunday evening. It wasn't like the day. No, it was like a couple days removed yeah. and they'd already picked up. So 
but still i get it like i've worked but they're just like in the middle of sales floor like like that's just like damn it or something it was like f like f f f yeah this, it was and, there. and then so we asked like do you guys have the reserve section and then the lady's like the dinosaur you want the dinosaur i'm like no i don't no dinosaur and then they're like they didn't know it was it was a very i don't so know. now i'd say do you have a full price section so i'm like i don't think someone do you have boutique cheek deletes <laughs> yeah so that's it and then they saw that or someone did at that store because then we went back recently like a month or so ago and they were like don't you are you caleb don't you do youtube and you came in like labor day or something like that i'm like no but i know what you're getting at yeah <laughs> we know what you're getting oops anyway we didn't name the store did we tonight oh no yeah. don't name it uh, we did we did yeah i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> well we named the store but not the location i think there's only one store in that area well in that area but we didn't say the town I think we did. I don't think we did. I would have made a conscious effort not to tell. I didn't even want to tell the story a second time. If you know what the town is, put it in the chat. No, do not. That is creepy. I'm going to get called out again when I go back. I don't know. What is your bag count now? Ooh. We're not counting. Mm. It's like calories. We don't count. <laughs> Coach out on Mother's Day is insane. Did you guys see, what was it? The Hermes store on Mother's Day recently? It was in another country. Was it busy? It was packed. There were orange boxes just flying around. Flying around. Mm. Wait, wow. Talk about fast luxury fashion. I can't find the landing page anymore for the Damia Alicious collection on LB, even though they still have products in that pattern. Of course. There I mean, you go. Of course. Everything is just to quickly turn over and shareholders and, oh, this didn't thrive in the week and a half it was out. On to the yep. next. I hate it. Like that's not luxury to me. No, nope, it's not. Like, give me a bag that I have lusted for for like five years that you've had on the shelves, tried and true classic. I don't. Not every single thing that comes out needs to be in a bag. Yep. And at this point, with how many products LB has on their product page, they should realize the business model's not working. Yes. They've. It's been what that weird multi pochette thing from four years ago was like their last big bag. Oh, I'm just saying. We can keep secrets. <laughs> hey, Melissa, welcome oh, in. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Don. Hi, shy guy. <clears throat> Wait, wow. Talk about fast. Oh, is that what you're answering? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, just LB is just not. No, they do have a couple of new bags coming out that finally feels like guest gear to me. Oh. Like that carry all with like, and like the black lamb skin with like the chain, or there's like another one that's like kind of edgy and cool, which is a vibe, but then like, is it appropriate for such a traditional house like lv i don't know <laughs> it's like church are church. we boring you <laughs> welcome to church welcome to church, <laughs> welcome to church. <clears throat> but no seriously when was the last bag that i bought from louis vuitton was that the palace thing in germany no the pink thing bag you used it as a bag of a clutch the pink zippy thing yeah Oh, I bought that because I was having a bad day. Mm -hmm. And then I carried it once and sold it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what you get when you're shopping when you're sad. <laughs> well, I was mad that day. So we just moved here to Chicagoland. You were still back in Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. I was trying to text my essay at YSL in the city because I was going to drive into the city. And I wanted to buy a, either another Uptown or... Oh, my God. Another Uptown? I either wanted another Uptown or the envelope clutch. I wanted another clutch from YSL and I texted him he wasn't texting me back it was rainy I wasn't in the mood to drive all the way into the city if I was just gonna walk in and not you know get what I wanted so I drove to the Northbrook LV mm -hmm. and I didn't even really want the ballerina thing clutch I just bought it because I was having a bad day <laughs> you're like ah whatever card, make me feel better yeah it didn't it didn't work don't buy when you're sad guys <clears throat> I got the LV high rise bum bag. I love it way better than the old bum bag. Oh, does it not have that weird lip on the zipper? That would be nice. All I know is I spent a. That's it. That's it. I need LV to spice it up a level or two. Let's ask for like four or five levels. Mm -hmm. Mini bum bag for me, says Ms. Jelly. The LV LED bag came up where I am if anyone is interested. Dang, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Trish is going to toss lit matches at everybody. The mini bum bags that Digital Girl share in the Discord are so pretty and cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, the bum bag, I'll give you guys the bum bag's cute. Shopping when sad or mad is very dangerous. It is. It's very dangerous and very expensive. <gasps> oh, Paige, welcome in. Thank you for subscribing. I like the cute little dancing avocado. And it, I okay. Yeah, okay. interesting. Do we do anything for a subscribe? We can. Yeah. Okay. We had a dancing av avocado that I figured you would like that. That's true. It was super cute. It startled me, but it was very cute. <laughs> Let's see. I did an LV exotic thing last weekend. I'm on the island for the foreseeable future, but I'm happy. Ooh, Ooh what did you get? I want to know. Are you going home for the eclipse? That's a good question. I don't know. Is it Monday? Well, it doesn't go through Fort Wayne. I don't think it goes through Indianapolis. Well, I mean, it'll actually be like south of us in totality. In totality. I don't know if I need to see totality again. We went to Nashville when it happened. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it at the Parthenon in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. And we had the hardest time buying glasses because everyone was sold out. Mm -hmm. We bought them from a street vendor. Overpriced. They were probably fake. Price gap. They worked. We're not blind. Yeah. <laughs> There's still time. There's still time. Sad buys are always my bad choices, 100%. Like, I never truly loved the bag. It's on April 8th. April 8th. I'm sure the LED bag is cheaper over where you are for sure. Yeah, the LED key ball? Or are you talking about, like, the... Remember the sack plaid that had the LV and it was, like, a fire? Mm -hmm. That one was cool. All I know is I spent all my cruise shopping money and Coach Denim Drock and Mark Jacobs crystal bag, but I'm happy. Yay! Ooh. Yes, they got rid of the weird lip on the zipper. I'm obsessed with it. Now, that makes a huge difference. I was watching someone's um, vlog recently where they were like, oh, I have to flip this up, and I just leave it flipped up the whole time. I'm like, well, isn't that bad for the bag? And I would think so. I wouldn't do it. No, we know you wouldn't no. do it. <laughs> I will struggle with the bad zipper. Oh, Brock Stars and Taku are in Nashville this Oh, weekend. fun! Cool. I love Nashville. It's so cute. The Parthenon. The Parthenon? It's very authentic. So authentic. It looks like you're in Greece. Yeah. Yeah. The Parthenon's in Greece. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's the Colosseum. Have I not? I've been to the Forum. Yeah, in Rome. And the, the yeah. Mm -hmm. Parthenon's in Athens. It's in Athens, Greece, like yeah. I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a geographer either. <laughs> it's not. I love the dancing avocado. It was super cute. It was cute. The 8th of April. Oh, that sounds foreboding mm. um i recently who's that guy he played denny in gray's anatomy played who denny no he didn't that's a lie the guy that looks like the guy that played denny but isn't there's those two actors that look exactly he's in p.s i love you the actor that looks like denny but is in p.s i love okay. you okay danny isn't it like it was Denny. Was it Denny? Okay. The Elbat okay. Wire. Okay, I got you. Yes, yeah. I love you. But the actor from PS I Love You. He is in a film where there are. Do you mean Eat Pray Love, that guy? Because PS I Love Javier You. Javier Badem? Yeah. No, I know who that is. Oh, okay. Thank you, though. Um, no, the guy in PS I Love You. Is that Denny or. That was that one Irish or English actor guy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. And then Denny also plays the dad from Weeds. When they're watching the young son's video cam quarterback and they make pizza eggs. That's Denny. Oh, I, that's but the guy in PS I Love You, is that the same? That's not the same actor. No. That's the Englishman. That's the guy that's in the Comet movie that I want to see mm -hmm. on, on, I think it's on Apple TV. Okay. I saw it on TikTok. Where did we get here? How did this happen? Okay, I think it's time to go. Jeffrey Dean Morgan? <laughs> The tax def deadline, Ryan, is very fluid. Mm. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, is that who this is? <laughs> no, the other actor that looks like him, though. P.S. I love you. Which, as a film, I found very disappointing because I loved the book as a as a sad gay high schooler. How did taxes Ger get brought up? I'm very confused. Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. They're the same actor. Basically. Basically. They're interchangeable. Uh, let's see. Not Jeffrey Dean Morgan. The tax deadline where I am is very fluid. That must be nice. Don't remind me, Nancy. 
15th of April is tax day, so remember to file taxes if you're in the U.S. That's where we're going on taxes. I know, but why did that get brought up here? <laughs> it's a good thing to know. It's a good thing to know. They, people come here for financial uh, advice. <laughs> you're a lawyer, a financial advisor. A financial advice. I mean, I just I do it Fashion all. Guru. I'm a man of many hats. <laughs> Zane, curious to know what you've been playing lately. Yeah, you want to tell them? Just TCM. And I tried to play today with the new map. I mean, I just like... What, an hour ago? Yeah, you got Super, one round in? one round in. Poor guy. I was like, I just want to play. I haven't played all day. I've been waiting to play. Let's see. I think Ms. Jelly meant me. I already did my taxes. Good job, Kaylee. We love a fluid tax deadline. Yes, we do. I mean, all tax deadlines are fluid as long as they don't know. Mm -hmm. Financial advice. <laughs> I saw this, like, one TikTok. This guy had never paid. And he was never in the system? Yeah, I don't know how that works. But yeah, like, so on TikTok, there was this guy that had like literally never paid his taxes from like... Never filed. Never filed. Never. And they've never come after him. And he hasn't paid taxes in like, like 30 years. years. It was like 30 or 40 years. Yeah, it had been a minute. And I was like, ah. Um, Except yet since I suggested it. No, I have not. Nope. He was in The Walking Dead, Javier Bardem. No, he wasn't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When? He's... He's the guy with the bat. No. That's, that's Denny. That's Denny. That's Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Javier, Bar Javier Bardem is the handsome guy from Eat, Pray, Love. At the end. Mm -hmm. He's part of the love part. Yeah. He is not Jeffrey Dean Morgan. No, he's not. Or Gerard Butler. I don't think Javier looks like Jeffrey Dean or Gerard Butler. Mm -hmm. That's that. <laughs> You'll have to join my Twitch, Dico, though. Like yes! It. Yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. Like a little game moment. Oh, Jer. That's not Javier. No! Not uh, guys, we're just going to be lost, and that's okay. There is nothing to be lost about. The guy from PS I Love You is Gerard Butler. Mm. The guy that plays the deceased Who father does not look like from the two guys. I didn't say anybody looked like Javier. He's in a class of his own. Gerard Butler... And Jeffrey Dean Morgan, before Jeffrey Dean Morgan aged, looked the Can same. Can you what Jeffrey Dean Morgan looks like? He's the guy that is the baseball Batman. And he was Denny. Oh. And he's in Weeds? He plays Silas and Shane's dad, play. who we dies. only see through the camcorder. That's right. In episodes one, three, and four. He loves Weeds, by the way. I've seen it a thousand times. I'm lying. He's not in, he's not in episode one, but it's like three and five, I think. Um... That's not Javier. Gerard Butler, he was in the movie 300, if you say so. He was. I'm just gaslighting. <laughs> Caleb, I have to ask, are you still thinking about getting a Kelly 40? I am not opposed. I'm not. Um, I think being between the two, the, the Birkin 35 and the Kelly 35, the Birkin definitely holds what I need to, so a Kelly 40 might be better. Mm. But it's also annoying sitting down at a restaurant with a big bag, so... And I sit down at restaurants quite often. He had a mean so, comment today. That was hilarious. I did. I got a mean comment. I was like, okay, pop off. It was hilarious. They're like, you're a big guy. I'm like, first of all, rude. <laughs> rude. Rude. I don't know if you mean tall or big, but that's rude. Um, and they're like, stop buying small bags. You look stupid. I'm like, okay. Didn't ask. <laughs> I like how this live went chat went from Hermes lawsuit to just having like old friends. 100. Like. That's how we do it. I told you, I'm no legal leader, so <laughs> I can't talk about lawsuits very long. He's like, okay. I was so proud of myself, though. For the, can I show them my notes? Yeah. This is a behind the scenes sneak peek, you guys. For my Hermes lawsuit video, I had the lawsuit printed here. And then I also had Two pages of notes ready to go on my thoughts. I don't know if you did front and back. But well, the did. lines aren't on the back. They're on the, the back. Oh. They're for sketches. Oh, okay. the front is for ideas. Yeah. So he, when it's a serious video, well, I do know. Like minor videos you for most videos, it. unless it's just like quite a while. mindlessly showing off a bag, then I don't really do notes. But like for anything that like is a sit down video, I do notes I'm prepared. Everyone wants to talk. Wants me to talk about or wants to laugh. Can I tell you all, I, nothing will get me to scroll away or <laughs> click out of a video quicker than freaking whisper talk. Clear your throat and, and talk. Speak. Speak like a man. Speak. Speak, boy. Like, I hate when they're all like, 
come with me to help make my toddler a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I uh, got this yeast and I made bread and then I made these peanuts from it. Like, shut up. Just like talk and present the information. Present the information. There will be no whisper talk on this channel. (laughs) (laughs) Hear me out. Your ASMR voice talking about it. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yes to ASMR. Wow. And text deadline notice, right? That's what you come here for. Information. (laughs) (laughs) All about the information, you guys. Do the nails on the microphone? I don't have long nails, guys. You do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I have a horse hair brush? Oh, yeah. Oh, we could act like we're doing their hair. Oh, I put them on salon. <laughs> they show up on OnlyFans or something. <laughs> yeah, that's something weird. <laughs> Zane does it better. Oh, he, he has a very spitty voice. It's okay. It's a spit. Welcome. <laughs> were, I did. I watched it fall out. <laughs> what? That's some timing. Oh, yes. Hey, Monarch. Hey, Monarch. Welcome in. We're just a train wreck. It's fine. <laughs> this is what it is, guys. Uh, there you go. Voiceover instead of pop up text. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no. Love ASMR Zane. No. Unapproved. <laughs> oh. uh, that was good. I mean, that's a good way to end the live. Yeah, and on that spit. <laughs> uh, well, what did we cover tonight? Some of a lawsuit. Eggs, my preference for eggs. eggs. Yeah. I like them scrambled hard. I don't like soft scrambled. Ugh, no, hotel eggs. Give me soft scrambled. No, eggs. ma'am. No, thank you. No, <laughs> um, that's it. Well. We also talked about taxes that got mentioned. Taxes are important. They help build roads and schools. Solar eclipse. Science. ASMR. ASMR. Whisper talk. Whisper talk. Video game. Love Spitty Caleb. Not a vibe. <laughs> and not, not Caleb approved. Not Caleb approved. <laughs> no. 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 no, no. Oh, All right. So I think we're going to go Spitty ahead. Caleb, you guys. I hope everyone has no. a wonderful Easter if you celebrate or not. Um, thank you, Brock. Miss you, too. Yes. Make sure you guys drop your member emojis at Dolphin Time. Yes, it's going to be Dolphin Time. And then I'm going to head over to the Discord now to put in dates and some itinerary. I can't believe I forgot to put outro on my little Steam Deck. Dum dum. Dum dum. Ew. Ew. Thanks for My happiness was boosted by 42%. Yay. Oh, yes. We love a happiness boost. <laughs> Okay. And then you have petrol lizard. Yes. Right. I think it's time for it. All right. Bye, guys. Happy Easter Bye. weekend. Bye. Bye.